Welcome to the homework for lesson 28. This is module 4 of grade 2. Get your name on here first. You want to get credit for all this work you're going to do. Then we're doing more vertical subtraction. Some of it with zeros and then tens for the minuend and some of them without. And sometimes we're going to have to unbundle and sometimes we won't have to unbundle. So it's just going to be really careful to pay attention to what we're doing for every step. Uh, there's no we're not drilling as much this time, so it's going to be, it might be a little tricky. You have to pay, just pay attention to what you're doing and be careful and start with the ones place and just keep going. 94. Now here's an example right away. We're used to unbundling everything so far because that's what we've been drilling. But now here's an example where if you unbundle, what happens? If you just unbundle without looking at what you're doing, now you're going to have 16 ones. 16 minus 4 is 12, and you're like, ah, oh, I can't do that. Right, you can't, because you just unbundled when you didn't have to. And that's one of the cues that you find out if you if you do that, and everybody does it, you'll find out that's the mistake that you made. So if you see that happen, that's what ha that's what you have to fix, is that you have to change. You don't have to unbundle. Look at this. If I have six, I can take away four and have two left. And now I'm looking at now I'm looking at th uh, three tens, unbundle a hundred, thirteen tens minus nine, four, forty-two. So on the chips, it's going to be one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can cross out four there. But I can't cross out nine tens, so I have to unbundle this hundred. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can cross out nine tens. And I have four tens left and two ones. So you have to have, again, you have to have these crutch marks to show that you used vertical subtraction. And you have to have all this unbundling and crossing out. You have to have all of that for both methods for every problem. Just as you need to do it. You don't have to unbundle stuff if you don't need to. So let's go. 105. Subtracting 57. And this time I don't have enough ones. And I don't have any tens. So I'm going to have to unbundle this 100. It's going to be one of those. 10 tens. Unbundle a 10, 9 tens left, 15 ones, 15 minus 7 is 8, 9 minus 5 is 4, 48, all done. So let's draw it. There's 100, no tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. Crossing out 57, can't do it. Don't have 7 ones, don't even have any tens, so we got to unbundle that 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We explode that 10 into 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And cross out 7. Have 8 left. 5 and 3 more. Then I can cross out 5 tens, and I have 4 tens left. No hundreds, and I'm done. They match. Two hundred minus sixty-one. I don't have any ones or any tens, so I'm gonna have to unbundle this. And this is one of those you gotta remember. Don't forget that hundred is there. That's the mistake that can happen here. And then we have to take ten tens, call it nine tens, and now we have ten ones. Ten minus one is nine. 9 minus 6 is 3 tens left, and then we still have that 100. So you got to have all of this, all of that unbundling. you got to have all of that shown. If you don't, then you didn't do it. You, we really have to practice it. That's what we have to do to get better at it. So we start off with just two hundreds. Got to unbundle this for 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then unbundle that ten, and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
subtract a 1, subtract 6 tens, that's all those 5, and that one there. 3 tens left, 9 ones, and don't forget that 100, 139. 200 minus 107. It's going to be a little tricky wrinkle in this one. But you see, we need ones, and we don't have any ones. So we have to unbundle 100. Gives us 10 tens. 9 tens left for 10 ones. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 100 minus 100, no 100's left. Here's how it looks when you draw it. Two hundreds. Got to unbundle this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unbundle a ten. You get ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can cross out seven ones. Right? It's a five group and two more. I'll have three ones left. And I can cross out zero tens, can't I? Sure I can. It's nine left. And I can cross out one of the hundreds. Now I don't have any hundreds left. It's just 93. That's how it works. 200 minus 143. Here we go. Unbundle 100. Get 10 tens. Unbundle a 10. 9 10 left but you get 10 ones. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 4 is 5. Oh, we still have that 100 left. One of those 100s is still left, but we subtract it, so it's gone. Now, we'll see. You could write a 0 here if you wanted, or leave it out. Let's draw it. Two hundreds. Unbundle 100. Get 10 10s. Unbundle a 10, get 10 ones. Now we can cross out three ones and four tens and 100. What do we have left? Five, six, seven ones and five tens, and there's no hundreds left. 57. Sorry if I've gone too fast. I do kind of rush it a little bit, but it's a video, so you can pause it, go back over a part that uh, if I went too fast, you can watch it again as many times as you need to. Nobody will know how many times you had to watch it. Herman collected 200 shells on the beach. Of those, he kept 136 shells and left the rest on the beach. How many shells did he leave on the beach? Now I've read it, and I'm going to draw a tape diagram, right? So we read it, I'm going to draw it, and I'm going to kind of read and draw at the same time. Herman collected 200 shells on the beach. That's the first sentence, so I'm going to just draw what it says there is. I'm, I like tape diagrams, so I'm going to do that. They're the, really the easiest pictures to draw. So H, Herman, and these are his 200 shells on the beach. That's it. Of those, he kept 136 shells and left the rest. So, he kept, these are the 136 that he kept. And the rest, these are the rest, they're on the beach. That's it. How many shells did he leave on the beach? That's what we have to find out. So, this is a subtraction problem. I have to find the difference between the 200 and the 136. Right? This is the rest. That's the rest. So it's 200 minus 136 equals whatever it is we have to find out. I could do this vertically. All we have is hundreds for our minuend. 
So I get to break up one of those hundreds. I'll have a 100 left, but I'll get 10 tens for it. Got to break up one of those 10, and I'll have 9 left, but that'll give me 10 ones. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 tens minus 3 tens is 6 tens. And then the hundreds, we subtract. We have one and we subtract one, so you could write a 0 here. You don't have to. You just leave it at 64. So he left sixty four shells on the beach. That's what you got to have some kind of a labeled picture that shows you read it. And then write an equation. We have that here. And we have our answer statement there. That's everything you need.